Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make a line dress with the ruffles at the neckline and at the bottom edge. In my previous video, I show how to make a dress with one shoulder whereby you can tie the shoulder. We measure 14 inch length for the shoulder, but for today we are not going to do that. We are going to take the strap around the shoulder while we have a ruffles at the neckline and at the bottom edge. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for staying with us. If you're old subscriber, thank you so much for watching our video. If you're just stopping by, remember to click that red button that says subscribe before you exit the video and thumbs up. I just want to give this a little tip to you guys if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner and you're practicing how to make a dress for your kids or loved ones or anybody, you're making the dress for all you have to do buy a very cheap of fabric and try the dress making out if you're going to make adjustment around the neckline then you know or at the armhole or at the side seam because if you make a dress with your expensive fabric that fabric will be wasted so i recommend that you buy a very cheap of fabric try it out any adjustment that you're going to make you make the adjustment on that fabric before transferring the measurement on your main fabric that you're going to make so i just want to give that little tip out remember to thumbs up before you exit this video and let's get started First thing that we have to do, we are going to make adjustment on the neckline of this A-line dress pattern paper we are making. So this is my A-line dress pattern paper. The front of the pattern paper, I place it like this. I trace it out. I place it on this other side and trace it out. Then I have the full bodies of the A-line dress pattern paper. We are only going to use the front of the pattern paper to make this dress. And for this A-line dress pattern paper, at the bottom, I cut out four and a half inches. You can see that my pattern paper is longer than this one. So I just measure inside four and a half inch and then I cut it out. I'm going to attach a raffle at the bottom of this A-line dress pattern paper we are making today. So what you are going to do, from the neckline, I measure inside 0.5 centimeter from the armhole i measure inside 0.5 i connect this to the armhole from the neckline i just connect it all the way down once you have connected down from this other side of the neckline i measure inside 0.5 and i connect it down the width of my strap is going to be one inch if you're using centimeter you take a measurement of 2.5 centimeter and I just connect it down. Remember, in my previous video, I have shown how you can make a mark right here. When you are cutting out your fabric, make sure to give it a little cut or snip it so that you know that that is where you're going to attach your strap. But the difference of this pattern paper and my previous video, this strap right here, instead of us cutting a long strap and tie it at the shoulder, what you are going to do, you're going to cut this out and you're going to cut this separately. You just go ahead and cut this out, cut out the armhole and cut the strap separately because this strap we are going to, we fold it into two and then we take the total measurement. I will show you that when I'm cutting out my fabric. Go ahead and cut this out. Remember to add your one centimeter seam allowance around the neckline, armhole, shoulder and the side seam. So go I have pinned my pattern paper on my fabric and I've also measured around one centimeter seam allowance. And remember to give it a notch. I will just go ahead right now and then cut it out. The next thing that I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut my strap. Just place your strap on fold 
my fabric is on fold add one centimeter on this side add one centimeter on the other side what you are going to do you just go ahead and cut it out remember to also add one centimeter at the top of the fabric so go ahead and cut it out because this one centimeter that we add on this fabric that is the one centimeter we are going to use to stitch it together The next thing that we have to do, we are going to cut a very long piece of fabric because we are going to gather it on our A-line dress that we are making. So what you are going to do, this is my A-line dress pattern paper. You can either take the total width of your A-line dress pattern paper, times that by two, the measurement that you get, go ahead and cut a long piece of your fabric. So the length of my uh, fabric right here is five and a half inch half inch to stitch it at the bottom then i'm going to also fold hem my dress once i attach it on my a-line dress that i am making and these other raffle pieces that you see right here i'm going to gather it at the neckline so instead of just making it with a strap so i'm going to gather it around the neckline and it will look really beautiful so the length of my fabric right here is four and a half inch first thing that you have to do put your both dress together both front fabric are facing each other go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam you take your strap fold it into two, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Go ahead and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, take your raffle pieces, put them together, make sure both front fabric are facing each other. Go ahead and give it a top stitch with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, you can also overlock it with your overlocker sewing machine or use this act to overlock it. Set your sewing machine to the longest stitch. We are going to stitch on, on the raffle pieces. You also repeat the same process with the second pieces. Go ahead and put them together. Stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch and stitch on top of the raffle pieces because we are going to gather it on our dress making so go ahead and stitch them together I have stitched the shoulder seam of my dress and I have also stitched my strap. I just turn it inside out, give it a good press. And I've also stitched my raffle pieces, the both pieces together. I set my sewing machine to the longest stitch. I just stitch it all around and I take it to my ironing board. I fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter. So I'm going to give it a top stitch all around so that when I'm hemming my raffle pieces is easier for me to hem. The next thing that you have to do, you take your dress to your sewing machine. We are going to stitch the side seam of the dress. You just take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and give it a top stitch all the way down with one centimeter seam allowance. Before you stitch this side of the side seam, take your bias binding. You are going to hem the armhole all around. You just turn your fabric. This will be the front of your fabric. Go ahead and pin your bias binding around the armhole. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine. Stitch around the armhole one centimeter seam allowance. Then fold the raw edges inside and then top stitch. Once you have done that, you just go ahead and put this other side seam of the dress together and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance.
I have stitched the side seam of my dress and I've also used my bias binding to bind the armhole of the dress. This is how it is. I just turn it inside out. This is how it looks. The next thing that you have to do, you take your raffle pieces. I have already folded mine one centimeter and fold it again one centimeter. So what I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine and hem my raffle pieces together and I will repeat the same process with the second pieces. Once I am done with that, before we will now gather the raffle pieces on our dress. I have hemmed my raffle pieces. This is how it is. And I've also hemmed the second pieces. This is how it look. The next thing that you have to do, before you gather the raffle pieces around the neckline, you put them together so that you know the mid part of the raffle pieces. You just put them together, take your pin, place a pin right there. You know that this is the mid part of your fabric and this is your other mid part of your fabric so what you're going to do you place it at the side seam of the dress this is the neckline place it at the side seam secure that with a pin and then open the raffle pc just pick your dress push it inside and take the other side pinning on the shoulder seam of the dress. So what you're going to do, you gather this side on this side of the neckline and this side on this side of the neckline. Go ahead and gather your raffle pieces around the neckline of your dress. Once you have done that, also gather the second pieces at the bottom edge of your dress. I have gathered my raffle pieces around the neckline and I've also gathered it at the bottom edge. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance, depending on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, go ahead and stitch it around. For the neckline, when you are going to stitch, stitch it not up to one centimeter seam allowance because we haven't attached our strap yet. So when we are going to attach our strap, we are going to also use our bias binding to bind the raw edges of our neckline. So make sure to stitch it not up to one centimeter. When you place your bias binding, then you can stitch around the neckline with one centimeter seam allowance. The first thing that you have to do, you take your bias binding, you open the neckline of your dress, place your bias binding inside the neckline of your dress. You're going to pin the bias binding around the neckline. I have pinned my bias binding around the neckline. Before you take it to your sewing machine and top stitch, what you are going to do, look for where you cut or snip. That is where you're going to place your strap. That is why I mentioned at the beginning, it is very important that you take a little cut so that you know where you are going to place your strap. So I will remove my pin right here. This is my bias binding. So what you're going to do, you lift your bias binding up you pick your strap, place it inside like this, not on top of the bias binding. You lift your bias binding up, place it inside, and go ahead and secure the both your strap and your bias binding together. Once you have secured it together, you come to this other side, you're going to repeat the same process. So I will look for where I take a little cut or snip. So this is my cut right here. I will pick my strap, lift my bias binding up. So I'm going to place it inside like this. So I'm going to pin the both strap and my bias binding together at the same time. I have pinned it together. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, go ahead and stitch it all around. 
Once you have done that, then you fold the raw edges inside and then fold it again and use it to cover the raw edges of your neckline dress that you are making. So go ahead and top stitch. Once you have stitched that together, your A-line dress with ruffles at the neckline and at the bottom edge is finally ready. So go ahead. I have give it a top stitch this is how it look use your bias binding to cover the raw edges it will look very beautiful you can see how i stitch my strap this is how it is right now thank you all so much for watching if you're a new subscriber you're welcome to hello angel or design if you're old subscriber thank you for staying with us we appreciate you we love you all and if you're just stopping by remember to click that red button that says subscribe and after that Turn on your notification bell button and select all options. If my tutorial is helpful, thumbs up. Make a comment down below if you have any question. Remember to watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. There are some techniques we show at the end of the video, so it is very, very important to watch the video until the end. Thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye.